In this video, I'm going to show installing the head on this 1.8T and torquing it on. Once everything is clean, I've scraped this whole surface, we can install the head gasket onto the engine. Before I place the head in place, I have the exhaust manifold bolted on because it's a lot harder to get it on once the head is bolted in place. I have it lined up. Once you drag it around, you'll find the pins that get it in the correct space and then it just kind of seats. Now you don't want to reuse head bolts, so we have a brand new set right here. These bolts are made to stretch whenever they go in. Here's an old one and if we line up the threads, you can see by the end, they're almost completely on top of each other. They don't line up. So this is the reason why we need to get new. And a new set of bolts cost about $15, $12 for the new set, so it's not that expensive. Now it's very important to know what style head your head bolts are. In this case, this is a poly drive number 10. It's very common on Audis or Volkswagens for the head bolts. And then another common one is triple square. And you can see it's definitely a different style head pattern and it's fit with a different kind of drive. Another very close one that will actually fit into these bolts is a T55 Torx. Whenever it goes in here, it's really tight. You'll have to pound it in place and it can take them out until you get it out and you'll realize it's a different size head. Now we can just drop our bolts in place. Now by hand, I'm just gonna thread all of these in Make sure they're not cross-threading and they're going in smoothly. At this point, I'm just putting the bolts in. I'm not actually torquing them in place. We don't want to add very much tightness to the bolts because if you start doing that, it can seat a little crooked. You want to make sure everything is threading correctly, but we aren't to the point where we're torquing these. We want to make sure whenever we torque it, everything is threading correctly. And there's a certain torquing pattern to these bolts. We don't want to risk warping the head. This half inch drive poly drive socket was about $15 on eBay, maybe less. Here's our torquing pattern. We start at 30 foot pounds following the torquing order and then a quarter turn following the torquing order and then another quarter turn following that same torquing order. Now we need to orient this in the position of the engine. So right here is our timing belt and I'm going to start on number one, which is right here at 30 foot pounds. You can hear it seating. There's 30. Now we'll go with number two. Just take it slow. We don't want to go past 30. Number three. Number four. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And number 10. Now we're going to switch to the half inch breaker bar and at this point this is where you'll be glad you have the correct tool that fits in there because it starts getting pretty tight and if you have the wrong bit it can strip out one of these bolts. Now we'll take a look at this and see it's a little bit off of 90 so whenever we're done it'll be around down here. Right there is good. So this one's a little bit off of 90 and then we'll just keep repeating this process and in, this is definitely you know this is where it starts getting tight this is where you're glad you have the correct tool for the job just a little bit more right there's good right. number three will be about right here Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And number 10. And now we'll start back at one and do another quarter turn. This is where it starts getting tight. You might need a cheater bar. I might need to get a cheater bar for this half inch. Let's give it a try. Make sure it's seated, especially when it starts getting tight. You gotta make sure that this is seated in there. You don't want it to be halfway in there and strip it out. Number 
And I think we can do this without a cheater. And number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And finally, number 10. That's the torquing sequence on a 1.8T. In this case, this is a AEB engine code head. It's gonna be the same exact process for any other 1.8T engine. And it's really just a matter of getting all the torques correct and then doing those quarter turns starting in the correct torque order. It's very important to get that torque order the same. And now we can continue with our timing belt. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.